My name is Sergeant Lysak. I was in 3rd Platoon, Charlie Company, 2-5 Cav, 1st Cavalry Division, Fort Hood, Texas. We heard it on the radio that America's been attacked. And we just thought, oh, well, you're lying. And he's like, no, it's on the radio. And next thing we know, and they made us box up our rooms and they said, you got five minutes to call your parents because you boys are going to war. April 4th was our introduction. I mean, everybody into hell. We all made a pact as a platoon that none of us would die on their sword. And that day, we lost half of Alpha Company. All I remember is hearing a lot of noise on the, the radio and woke up 31 days later, staring at my best friend, which is right here, Brian Monson. My mom and dad, and Specialist Chapman, sitting in a wheelchair at the end of my bed. And then I looked down, and my leg was gone. I have to say, if it wasn't for William White and my wife, you would not be doing this interview today. I, my name is Mary Lysick, and I'm Bobby's wife. I worked for the dentist who uh, reconstructed his teeth. He would ask me out on a weekly basis and I would use excuses, you know, I can't date patients, this excuse or that excuse. And I decided one day, you know, he was pretty persistent, what would it hurt? And so we went out on a date and he never left. And when she said yes to go to supper, and to the shooting range. That was our first date. I let her go since then, and she gave me two kids. I was told at a very young age um, that I would not possibly ever have children. It was not in the cards for me. And I'm told, of course I wasn't with Bobby when all his injuries happened, but I was told that the doctors had told him they couldn't guarantee him to ever have children either. So it's different, but they bring a lot of joy to our lives. We love them. As far as his PTSD, things like that, I guess it's just an everyday, it's part of our lives every day. So we've just, I guess, I don't know. We've just learned how to live through it. Hatred, a lot of it. And it's still there. And the ones that have to deal with that, unfortunately, is my wife and two daughters. And Gracie asked me the other night, my nine-year-old, Daddy, how come you only have two friends here? My friends are either dead or still at war. Why do you want to make new friends something happen. If you can call him your friend, you're a very fortunate person because he will do anything in this world for you. He will be there no matter what. And there are very few people who are fortunate enough to say he's their true friend. I only know certain disabled guys, vets. It'd be nice to actually no more. Will White had nominated him for this, or they had called him about it, or wasn't exactly sure how it came about, and so I googled it. And I said, well, what is it? First of all, and second of all, he's like, if I ever steered you wrong before. I said, no, sir. But meeting everybody and them talking to us, everybody's been very friendly and very nice to us and very helpful. It'd be nice kind of get out there and, you know, maybe 
make a friend or two.